Cameron Taylor, and I play on the women's soccer team here at Southwestern University. I have a conversion disorder, and conversion disorder is a mental disorder that is induced by stress. It is, uh, what happens is your uh, body, uh, part of your body shuts down in order to preserve um, your mind, so your brain can't handle both, and it chooses uh, to shut down. So I was, um, it was September of 2015, I, it was very end of September, um, I was 14, and I had, uh, ended up in the hospital after falling down the stairs and I, I couldn't um, I couldn't walk on my right leg. I, I my leg just kinda gave out from underneath me. And um, I was in the hospital for about a week and they uh, I saw three um, neurological specialists um, and they determined after talking to me that uh, I had conversion disorder, I uh, had a lot of stress going on in my life and my entire right leg had um, been paralyzed. All in all, my freshman year, I was out for over three months, and I didn't get to um, play like I had hoped. I had made the varsity squad my freshman year, and I had trained with them for a few months before um, I was hurt, or I was out. Um, and because of the injury, my coach had moved me down to the JV team, and um, I remember being so disappointed, even though I couldn't even play, uh, and I wasn't exactly sure if I was when I was going to be able to walk again and, and uh, what that meant for playing and I, part of me wanted to quit, wanted to um, stop playing club, stop playing, playing high school soccer and it, 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 was, it was hard. Um, I have played since I was four years old and um, there are lots of girls who, who dream of playing collegiate soccer and I was one of them and I kind of had never even thought about not playing. Um, until then, and uh, I had dreams of going and playing at D1 schools, and, and giving up soccer was, was going to be my the end of that dream. And so um, I had decided, despite like you know being really sore once I got back and having my muscles being atrophied, like it obviously was hard to fight through it, but it was worth it in order to um, get to follow my dream. I would say that. It is possible. It is. It'll be hard. You'll have to work for it. You'll have to fight for it. And it may not always be um, your favorite thing. Having to put up with practices and having to put up with missing games, maybe because you're not quite ready to play. It, it, it's hard, and, and you don't always feel like you know you're in the right place. But if it's something that you loved before the injury, it's it should still be something you loved afterwards. And um, yeah, I. I think it's definitely possible and I would like to tell not to give up on their dreams just because um, they were unfortunate enough to end up with something like that. So, but it's manageable, so don't give up and uh, keep working hard.